He has been such a strong partner, a strong advocate for this land. Fortunately, this beautiful family has been re reunited. But tragically, for millions of others, we need to do more to protect everyone, but especially the most vulnerable in these crisis situations, women and children. The tsunami that hit Sri Lanka and other countries in Southeast Asia left thousands of families totally devastated and tragically children were especially hard hit. Save the Children estimates that of the five million people impacted overall, one third to one half are children. Conservatively, 1.5 children were affected by this tsunami. But first, I just want to take a moment to talk about our legislation. We can do more by passing this legislation. The Women and Children in Conflict and Crisis Protection Act would take a series of simple steps to improve the lives of the world's most vulnerable people. It would require the United States government to develop an integrated strategy for protecting women and children in all stages of conflict and disaster, and would authorize funds to implement this strate strategy. The bill would institute an early warning system to ensure our programs around the world are nimble enough to focus immediately on protection when needed like this disaster or any emerging conflict.